Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Hamza and in today's video I wanted to go over my portfolio really quickly and I wanted to talk about a couple of things that everybody has been talking about over the weekend. Now I know a lot of you come to this channel for investing advice so please hit that like button. It does help me with the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. With that being said, I've already pulled up my portfolio and I've put it in my one week performance and as you guys can see, I'm up roughly around 15%. Now I was up a little more. So if you do look at my portfolio just from a couple of days ago, I was up roughly around 19% for the week. However, I did see a little bit of drop um, towards the end of the week when the sell-off happened. Now I believe I didn't make a video on this because it was Friday and I had a car rally to go to, which you can see in my previous video, but I did end up buying five NEO calls, which you can see right here. I'm gonna click on this so you guys can see the calls that I bought. These are the call options that I did purchase Friday. Um, they're $11,000 is roughly around what it cost me. They expire end of 2021, beginning of 2022. So January 21st, 2022, it is a leap for me. I do think the company is gonna grow quite a bit as it was down roughly around 6% when I bought these call options. These are naked calls, so this is a high risk purchase. So this was my portfolio update for Friday of last week. Tomorrow when the market reopens, I do have a couple of stocks that I'm looking at aggressively to buy. I have $25,000 of purchasing power. So I am going to be buying some more stocks tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm going to quickly scroll over my existing portfolio so that you guys can see my holdings. I do have NEO here and I am losing roughly around $700 on my stocks. I have Jumia here and Jumia was doing very well for me. However, it did drop on Friday. Now, although the market dropped a lot on Friday, my portfolio for last week is still up 15%. So I'm good. I'm really happy with my purchases. I think I made some really good purchases which allowed me to get that 15% that I wanted. So, so no complaints on my end and I am fully disclosing my entire portfolio here. With that being said, quick disclaimer, I'm just a guy on YouTube. Just because I invest in these stocks doesn't mean that you have to Research, do your own due diligence, and only invest money that you are willing to lose. I'm up on SPY, which is interesting. I don't usually hold SPY in my portfolio. I just bought it because I had nothing else to buy at the time. But it seems like it was a safe bet, which it should be. Now, I'm up in BNGO. This is actually the highest I've been in BNGO so far. So it's at 630. I'm down on O, which I'm a little disappointed about. I was very excited about this stock. But I think the eviction bans, the fact that they were extended all the way out to October, is going to impact REITs and real estate stocks, which is why I'm cooling down on real estate stocks and REITs for the time being. I got into Dash, I had TTCF, I have NNMD, which I'm very excited about. I have MCAC, they are going through a merger, which is also something I'm excited about. I have ISR, I have Open, and I have a bunch of other small cap stocks in my portfolio, which all I'm excited about. I am gonna to continue to add positions and hold these stocks long term. And these are my crypto holdings on Robinhood. As you guys can see, I have 7.2 Ethereum and 0.166 Bitcoin. I am adding to these positions significantly this week. So I'm waiting for the markets to open up. I am going to be adding to both my Bitcoin and my Ethereum position significantly, hopefully by this week. I am wiring funds into my Robinhood account. So now that we've covered my portfolio and I showed you guys what it looks like, I'm really excited for the market to open up tomorrow. I think those calls are going to do great and I am going to exit them as soon as they do. I don't think I'm going to ride Neo long term, but you never know. If the calls go up significantly, I may change my mind and decide to hold them a little longer. 